Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praise, go around and do it to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. Never understood their apostles, elders, and prophets, and never respect to the brother teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe, worldwide. And you know, basically just coming out here on this beautiful day uh, over here in Dallas, Texas, you know, just just uh, enjoying the, the nice sunshine out and, and uh, you know, this nice day. And just, you know, in spite of all things, you know, you how about Shim how Shah has everything in his power under control. And, uh, you know, just went out today and, you know, just went out to family and, you know, we, you know, took care of some business. And um, if we was at, at, uh, at Walmart and, uh, you know, we were checking out, you know, this uh, Edomite woman, you know, at the register, basically telling uh, my, uh, my wife that, um, they're gonna come to a point that they haven't implemented yet. That you can only, it's gonna come to a point that you can only uh, get food out of Walmart. If you get anything else like you know soap products or any hygiene products or cleaning supplies or anything else, you know you're gonna be fine. I think it was like she thinks she said like a two or three thousand dollar fine. You know I could be wrong, but the store is gonna uh, they, but the store itself is gonna be fine five thousand dollars. And it shows you that we are at the end of this man's society. And we are at the end of this uh, this kingdom. And, you know, we pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for this day, man. Because the prophets have been warning you time and time again that this day was coming. But, you know, your people didn't want to listen. And it's going to come to a point that you're not going to be able, you know, they already got it, you know, that you're not able to, you know, you know, go to certain places, you know, they got certain borders shut off, but it's gonna come to a point that you're not gonna be able to even go go uh, around the block. You know, that's how bad things are gonna really get because it's all about, you know, that it's all about getting this new world order, this uh, mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. And, and that was uh, this thing is all about. You know, it's gonna come to a point that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be desired to wanna just you know, be around somebody you're not gonna be able to, and we and we coming in them times, man. And that's the reason why we tell you Israelites to repent and turn back to your about Shimei Al Shah. But you know, you know, you got Israelites out there that's still not taking this thing seriously, man. And yeah, we we know we're not, uh, we're not talking about the coronavirus. Yeah, you take things seriously, but it's to a point now when you had all the other diseases that was you know quote unquote big diseases. Why? You know, things went locked down then. You know, why didn't it take all this uh, safety uh, precautionaries then? You know, why? Because, you know, they didn't take things seriously then because it one time yet. And what you mean in one time? You know, one time, you know, for them to, in, in to make their move, you know, and, 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 um, and they didn't, you know, they didn't take it seriously then. But now since it's the COVID-19 and the coronavirus, you know, now, now they making a move and they basically using this thing in this coronavirus to tell you that you have to stay at home. You know, you, you can't, you're not allowed to, you know, you know, you're only allowed to go, you know, to handle your business, and then you have to come back home. And, and, that, and they're stressing out a lot of people because a lot of people are not used to being confined in their homes and, and have to, uh, uh, you know, how to go home and, and, and sit in the house all day and be self-quarantined in the house and all this other stuff. But, you know, this is all, this is a part of these uh, elite bank, bankers plan, man. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they get you people to fear. And then you got people that walk around in stores and I look at them and I'm like, these people walk around here with these damn masks on and gloves and all this other unnecessary stuff and like they, like this like they believe that this stuff is going to protect them from this, these viruses but which is not man and, and, and it's just a whole bunch of fear tactics and and you people don't understand that man yeah you know y'all driven by fear you're driven by fear of uh what uh you know by fear of what the, the devil gonna do but in, and it's crazy how how you know you jace out there you can fear you know, eat what Esau has to say. But when it comes down to the word of the most high, you have about Shimei Al Shai, you just disregard it and you just throw it and you just uh throw it down, throw uh, just throw it away, man. Because you people don't want to hear the truth, man. 
and now all of a sudden these this virus and all this all these other things are coming to play and in the mark of the beast and the RFID chip now everybody acting like they're on some type of level like they got revelation and knowledge and all this stuff you know you people doing that man because y'all just um uh, you know you all just um uh, you know, you've been a wickedness, man. You've been out there doing your thing. You've been out there doing your dirt. You didn't regard the word of the Most High. And now all of a sudden, all these things are starting to come to pass. Now all of a sudden, you know, you, you just want to get on some get on some spiritual level. Well, guess what? The Most High ain't dealing with you, man. Because he already sent the prophets through his work, through spirit and power. Y'all by Shem al -Shai. He sent his word out to warn you people. But guess what? You you people refuse to listen, man. You you people fail and refuse to listen to the word of the Most High. And now all of a sudden, judgment is starting to go forth. And you're saying that a lot of people are dying from this, you know, quote unquote, coronavirus. But it's the will and work of Yahweh by Shimmy Al-Shah, man. You know, there's nothing that you can do about it. The only thing you, that you being an Israelite, you know, you have to repent and turn back to the hand of the Most High Yahweh by Shimmy Al-Shah. And, uh, and you got people that are just dying left and right, man. And you got people dying over, you know, other stuff, you know. And I know that somebody that, when I was in, in the church, you know, was going to church or whatnot, you know, he passed away on, uh, you know, on, uh, I think, two days, two days before, uh, two days before, you know, two days before today. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, the most high is not playing. And he's sending his judgment around the world. And we're going to get a quick scripture. You know, we're going to get a scripture that judgment is going to start in the house of the Most High. You know, but, but, you, but you people don't don't take the Most High seriously, man. And, and that's the reason why these things are coming upon, you know, Jake. Because guess what? Judgment is going to start within the house of the Most High. And, and, and there's no getting around that. Let me get a scripture real quick. To, to prove that point. Let's see if I can if I can get it. Let's see if I can find it. But yeah, you people gonna understand real quick that judgment is gonna start within the house of y'all by Shim Al Shah. And, and it just and it just no and just no getting around there. Let me, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, Google it and, and just and just type it in. If I can go ahead and get it pulled up real quick, you know, it's like for that. You know, I'm I'm holding the phone in one hand, huh? And I got the tablet in the other hand. You know, you know, trying to get get the scriptures, man. And and and, and you people gonna have to understand that you know that you just can't you know all some all this stuff. You just can't just think you can just when you done waking this all your life, man. And you think you just run back to the Most High. And think, oh, I ran back to the Most High, so I, I should be good. You know, this is here, here's the scripture. This is First Peter chapter four. You know, yeah. Let me see if I can pull pull it up. It's lock it for that brother. You know, it's tab is pretty slow. It, it, it has First Peter four and seventeen, but I'm trying to get it off the other thing here. Not the uh, my, uh, other thing. Here it is. First Peter chapter four. We we're gonna go ahead and uh, start at verse seventeen. It reads, For that time it's come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And and judgment gonna start with you Israelites, man. Why? Because we read to you, you know, once before the uh, uh, Psalm chapter one, uh, 147, verse 19, 20. You know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna get that in a little bit. You how willing? And this is verse 18, First Peter 4 and 18. It said, "And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear?" And that shows you, man. If you no, know, the elect is, is is barely gonna be saved. Meaning that the lit has to go through the fire, as you read in Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. It goes into the elect of Israel gonna have to go through the fire, and they gonna and they gonna scarcely be saved. And the only reason why they gonna be saved because they were chosen by Yahweh by Shem Al Shah from the foundation of the world. 
not because of all uh, they the work you no know, because they on righteousness but it's because of grace of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And and judgment is gonna start within the house of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Why? Because we were given the law, statute, commandments. I'm gonna go ahead and put the scripture up. You know, this is gonna so I could, you know, this is gonna be uh, uh Psalms uh, 147, you know, verse 19 to 20. And this is a very familiar scripture to be brought out. Because, you know, you Jace out there don't believe that the law exists. You know, you were told by uh, your devil daddy that the law doesn't exist and the laws are done away with. And this is uh, Psalms 147, 147 chapter 19 verse. It reads, He showed his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they had not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. So, so the uh, reason why judgment is going to start first within the house of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah is it, because that we were given the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah. And he made a covenant with our forefathers. And, and get what happened. And our, and our forefathers broke the covenant of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah. So that's the reason why we're going to get judged first because we were given the law, statute, commandments. We were given the word from Yahweh himself, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh through the prophet Moses. And, 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 you know what I'm saying, and he revealed unto his prophets, man. You know, and, and uh, you know, all throughout, his word got revealed throughout all the prophets, man. And the prophet always comes to warn the people, what a lot of people do. We rebel. We we don't listen to the prophets, and that's the reason why we're going through the stuff that we're going through now. And that's the reason why the undesirable two thirds are going to go through Jacob's trouble, as you read that in in Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse five through seven. And and we gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because you just don't believe that uh that uh you you're gonna have to go through anything. But guess what? You we we uh, we in the beginning stages of, of uh, Jacob's trouble. And, and you ain't gonna get secret raptured up out of here. If you still living on the earth, you going through Jacob's trouble. They have no ill fan bust about it. But if you're Israelite, the only thing you can do is re repent and turn back to your high by Shem Shah and keep your law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And even pray then that that your by Shem Shah will show you favor and that will show favor unto you that you will be received unto him. But you have to be chosen from the foundation of the world. You know, he, you know, so we don't choose him, he chooses us. So let's just get one thing straight here. And this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5. It said, For thus said Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Now, now I ask you now and see whether a man does travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? And as a woman in travail in all faces, I turn to paleness. Alas, for that day is great. So that so that is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of out of it. And Jacob's trouble is we in the beginning stages of it. And and you Jace, man, y'all scared. And I seen a lot of Jakes, you know, they just walking around with masks on their face and walking around with gloves on their hands. They scared of the world of Esau Edom. And 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 when it come down to the world of the most high. You know, they they move they uh move their shoulder and they harden their neck against the word of the most high. And then they wonder why all the great calamity is coming upon them. Because the scripture tells us that Yahweh is gonna mark uh, mark you when you fear coming. I'm gonna get it real quick. You know, they're doing this lesson on the fly. You know, it's a locker for that. Yeah, you know, that, that's uh, that's the best lesson to do. Cause when when you uh, do your lesson on the fly, then you trust in your how about him how to bring it, help you bring it out. Cause we can't do this um uh, by ourselves. All right, so uh, you know this this is a uh, Proverbs chapter one. I'm gonna go ahead verse twenty three. It reads, "Turn you at my reproof." Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you unto you. I will make you to make you know my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said and not all my counsel and would and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity, 
I will mock it when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and, and anguish come upon you, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. And they shall seek me early, but, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear of Yahweh. And that's what happened to a lot of you jays out there, man. The Most High is going to laugh at you when your fear coming. You know, when Jacob Trump really persecute, uh, really, really goes in full of fit, and when these Edomites start rolling in and kicking down your door and, and start rounding you up and putting you in these concentration camps, you're going to be calling on the names of the wrong God. You're going to call on God and Jesus, which them names are not going to save you anyway. And the Most High is going to laugh at you when you feel coming. You're going to cry, oh God, why, why, God, why, why, why? Yeah, well, you, you people live in wickedness all your life, man. You, you didn't regard the word of the Most High when he called you through his prophets, through the men of the Lord. And guess what you did? You you you, you harden your neck. You brush your shoulders off. You you act like the prophet wasn't talking to you. You act like the Most High wasn't did, ain't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't talking to you. And now when your fear comes, the Most High is going to laugh at you. You know, you're going to be seeking the word of Yahweh by Shemmy Shah. You're not going to be able to find it. I'm going to hold that and going to go to to uh, Amos chapter 8 verse 11 because you people are going to be looking for the word of the most high you're going to be looking for the prophets but you're not going to be able to find them why because because the most high is going to shut the mouth for the prophets over there you're not going to be able to get the word anyway and this is a uh, Amos chapter 8 verse 11 it, re it reads behold the days come said Yahweh power that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of Yahweh, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and, and they shall not find it. And they would, and they, and let me read verse 13. In that day shall the fair virgin and the young man fight for thirst. Why? Because they want it, they gonna want to hear the words of Yahweh by Shem and they're gonna try to figure out what they're gonna need to do. Well, get what the word is not going to be given to them because they because when they had time to hear the word and they, when they had time to hear the prophets they they laughed at it they 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 refused to hear it they weighed in hand you know they still continue on waking it they still continue on calling their false gods they still continue to just walk walk in walk after their false idols after their false gods and and guess what? And now, now when they, now when they fear coming, and now, and now they, now when uh, you know, per se, uh, Jacob Trouble is here. Now all of a sudden, now they, they, they gonna wanna t want to talk to the prophets and and ask what they need to do. But guess what? They're not gonna get no instructions because they, they gonna be like unto them food, five foolish virgins, as you read in Matthew chapter twenty-five. You see in. And they're gonna be asking the, the wise virgin, which y'all did let to give us all your oil because our lamps are gone out. And you know the, the wise gonna tell them not so. We and we ain't got we ain't got enough. We only got enough for ourselves and not for you. You know you go and buy buy your own oil. Basically go and find your wisdom, find the wisdom and knowledge. And guess what? They they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to find it. They're gonna be looking for the word of Yah by Shem Al Shah, but they're not gonna be able to find it. And the most high gonna just laugh at them because they ain't gonna know what to do. And, and all this stuff is gonna happen. You know, they're gonna be rounded up in the concentration camps, you know, and all these things, and, and, and they're gonna be forced to get forced vaccinated, and they're gonna be forced to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. And a lot and a lot of you Jason, you're gonna fold under pressure, man. Like Jason, you're gonna take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. You you're gonna take the chip. Why? Because you ain't gonna have no faith. You ain't gonna have no trust. You you you're not you're not gonna have you're not gonna have any uh you're not gonna have no faith. You're not gonna have no trust in the Most High. And and yeah, a lot of you Jays out there, you 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 you're gonna take you're gonna take the chip. You know that's just plain and simple. And the Most High is gonna laugh at you because you ain't gonna have you ain't gonna have no you 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 you're not gonna have no covering. You you're not gonna you're not gonna have no covering so. So if you ain't got no covering of the Most High Spirit, He's not gonna protect you in that day, and, and it's gonna be a sad thing because two thirds of our people are gonna be cut off and die in that day. And and let me get a scripture. 
on there. This is going to be Zachariah chapter 13. And, and we're going to get scripture on that because uh, it's like we're going to get scripture on that because it's going to come a time that uh, that uh, two parts of our people are going to be cut off and die. And this is uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It reads, uh, it, it shall come to pass in all, that in all the land said, Yahweh, two parts of that parts there and shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is, is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call upon my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And so it's going to be two parts out, going to be cut off and die, because we read to you in Psalms chapter 147, verse 19 and 20, they were given the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. And get what? And they still continue to refuse and rebel against the word of the Most High, and, and they're gonna and, and they're gonna be cut off and die. Cause why? Cause the Most High is not dealing with them. He's not dealing with them on the level because they ain't trying to repent. They ain't trying. To, they they refuse to be uh, to be corrected. They they refuse to believe that when you sin, what sin is, and we're going to get it because Scripture say that sin is the transgression of the law. This. This is First John chapter. It's gonna be First John, be three and uh, I believe it's uh, three and four. You know, just give me a minute. Let me uh, look for it. There it is. This First John chapter three verse four. It says that uh, whosoever co committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And our people don't believe that they, they get they get told that the laws are done away with which is not true because we just read to you that that uh sin is the transgression of the law showing that the law is in full effect but but can we keep the law fully here the answer is no because guess what we are in the land of our captivity but now however not not keeping the law to the best of ability could cause you to be destroyed man because you know what, we have to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we, we have no excuses in that day. So you have to try to keep it to the best of your ability. Yeah, we are in the land of our captivity, and there's something, it's certain parts of the law that we can't keep, but the, the parts that we can keep, guess you know what, we got to try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Because if we don't, you know, you're going to be destroyed, plain and simple. But do, do, well, does the law save you? No, it does not save you. But guess what? You got to still keep it to the best of your ability. And you got to pray that, that uh, to, to the Most High that, that he has mercy upon you in that day. And that, that you will be part of the elect. Because only one-third of, of Israel is going to be saved out of this calamity that's going to come upon the earth. And... And it's gonna come a time that uh that 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 these devils gonna start rolling in upon uh our people, man, and they're gonna start casting some of us you know into prison. And and to back that up, this is Revelation chapter two, verse ten. It reads, uh, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in the prison, that ye may be tried, and that ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And what is those prison? Those prison are those female camps that 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 the devils have set up for uh, the Most High chosen people. And and, and why they want to round us up in those concentration camps? Because they're gonna get to a point. They're gonna force you the 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 make a choice. Is either you're gonna take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, or you're gonna be put to death. You know, you know what you're gonna do in that day, because a lot, a lot of jakes out there, a lot of people are gonna take the chip, and they're gonna take that chip because they ain't gonna have no faith in the Most High Yahweh and the Son and Yahweh Shah. They ain't gonna have no faith in them names. You see, they, they, they're gonna take the chip, and they're gonna think by them taking the chip, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be able to function, you know, it's like they're gonna be able to function in the society a, a, a little while longer. Well, guess what? In that day. They 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 they're gonna realize, you know, they're gonna realize that um, that they're not gonna be able to function in society, you know, once they take that chip. You see, they, and what I mean by that, they'll be able to function in society for that 
But you know, this will happen when you after you take the chip. We're gonna get get a Revelation chapter fourteen. We for, chapter fourteen we're gonna start at verse nine. This will happen when you take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. You see. It, and this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. It reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out in, without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented, tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And they're talking about when, when you take the mark of the beast, which is an RFID chip. You know, you you're gonna be uh you're gonna be um, tormented in 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 the fire of the nation. And what's the fire of his in the nation? That's gonna be them intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are them uh ICBMs that that's gonna come upon America, Babylon, the Great. You know, it's gonna be over. They're gonna be two hundred million missiles. That's going to be shot over here, and that's going to wipe this face, this place out the face of the planet. And, and my mean by that, it's going to be, it's only going to be devil, uh, desert creatures that's going to inhabit this place, and and the, and, and the Most High is going to destroy this place. You see, and 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 that's and that's how things are going to be, man. You know, that's the reason why I tell you, people, you got to have your faith and trust in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And we know that all these plays, according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 through 8, we know that all these plays that are him right now, do these are just the beginning of sorrows. It is gonna and it's gonna come to the point that uh that that you're gonna start uh saying uh you know, I'm just gonna get the scripture. You know, this is this is uh, Matthew chapter 24. You know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna start at verse 9, you know, continue on with the scripture. It, it reads, Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And you're going to see that, that uh, you know, if you're a true man of the Lord, and, and, and you keeping the law, statute, commands the best of your ability, and you forsaking the ways of this society. You got what you're gonna you're gonna have people that you think that's gonna be in your corner. They the ones that's gonna deliver you up to be afflicted, man. And, you know you're gonna be hated of all nations for His name's sake. You know, and and that and that's part of what happened when you get in this truth, man. You're gonna be hated. You know you're gonna be hated when you when you see people that walk around here and 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 they being in fear and all the stuff and and. And you basically, you know, you basically just looking at them like uh, they they ain't got no faith in the Most High. And guess what? Them same people are gonna be the one that's gonna hate you because they gonna see that you you gonna have faith in the Most High that He's gonna be able to deliver you out of this. And you see all these pestilence, all these things that come on the up on the world, you know, the Savior already prophesied of that. You know, He already told you that these things are gonna happen. He already told that these things are gonna be the beginning of sorrows. You know, you got the coronavirus that that's going on throughout the world, and and you got uh you got them put you know, uh, getting these uh military tanks and stuff ready, getting prepared for full blown martial law, and, and and they also get prepared because they know that the people are gonna get to the point they're gonna get tired of, of of being oppressed and they're gonna start revolting against the government. They're gonna start riding. They're gonna start looting, and and it's said in the scripture they're gonna be going. Your neighbor gonna be going in your house. Gonna to wanna to, you know rob you of your goods and everything. You know all these things are prophesied in the scriptures. You know, and that's the reason why we 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 tell you, Jace out there, to repent and turn back to the hands of the Most High. Because guess what? Your only covering is the Most High. You know, your how about Shem Al Shai is your only covering that you're gonna have to make it through this and you see and you're gonna have people that not gonna take take it seriously what i mean by that they're not gonna take the word of the most high seriously and then the one that's gonna end up getting getting caught out there is gonna end up getting put to death you see yeah, yeah. you know they they're gonna, they gonna end up getting put to death man 
because because these people ain't gonna have no faith in the Most High, man. No, oh, and like we like I said, man, you know your own faith and trust that have been y'all about Shem Al Shah. If you not don't have no faith and trust in Him, you're not gonna make it. And when all these pestilences and all these things that are going on in the earth, and you still have Jace that, and you still have people that's laughing and scoffing and mocking at the truth, man. But guess what? It's going to be to your own pearls. It's going to be to your own destruction because the scripture tells us, you know, you still got to continue to warn the people, you know, whether they hear or whether they forbear. You know, you can't sit back and, and you know what I'm saying, hold back anything. Because the scripture also says if, if uh, you see that, that that person is in wickedness, you know, if you don't warn them, and if something happens to them, the blood going to be upon your hands. Guess what? If you warn that person of his wicked ways, but they still continue on wickedness, if something happened to them, you know, you're not going to be you're not gonna be held accountable for it because they were warned. You see? And, and that's the reason why we, we, we warn people through the videos. You got the prophet on the highways, byways teaching. And you got these things that are going on, man. You know, and, and we constantly warn the people and tell our people to repent. You know, this ain't no time to be playing games. And there's no time to be, you know, to be getting all in your feelings about uh, about the truth. Guess what? You know, it's either you're going to accept the truth or you're going to reject it. And if you reject it, the Most High ain't dealing with you. And you're going to be destroyed. You know, and that's it for a lesson. So I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and prophets, and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, Yahweh. Shalom.